So from about one month of age in sheep, they can pick up coccidiosis. So their dam derived immunity will wane after around one month. And then we'll expect to see symptoms of coccidiosis from around six weeks of age. We have to exercise caution, however, because we'll also get nematodirus symptoms at that age. And the symptoms of the two diseases are quite similar. So if in doubt, we take a fecal sample. So for both diseases, that's coccidiosis and nematodirus, twins are gonna have a bigger risk because they're doing more grazing at a younger age. So in calves, we can get the symptoms sooner at a younger age. The immunity they get from their dam or from the colostrum is not as strong as it is in lambs. But if we're getting coccidiosis, I suppose, at or before one month of age, it means we picked up the disease in the first days and the first week of life. So we need to look at our hygiene around then. So from the point of view of coccidiosis and a lot of the other main stomach worms, alternating grazing ground between cattle and sheep is actually a good thing because as I said previously, the parasites are species specific. So the type that proliferate in cattle and be shed on the pasture won't then be picked up and proliferate or develop within sheep. We just have to be careful with parasites like nematodirus or liver fluke because they can develop and cross over in both species.